Wakey, wakey, it's a beautiful day. Where'd you find a camera out there? <laughs> huh? You, you go outside, you let the dogs out, and then you find a camera. I stole it from the kid next door. Well, he doesn't need it. Good morning, friends. Mm. <laughs> Good morning. Today is Saturday, and we have a fun-filled day planned. First of all, we're going to start off the day with the workout. Because that's the most fun way to start your day. <laughs> no. <laughs> None of these are truths. <laughs> it's a way to start your day. Um, so we're going to do that. And then my nephew is turning seven. Eight. Twelve. Seven. Yeah, he's, like seven. he's got a birthday party today. So we're going to go to that. <laughs> so we're going to hit that up <laughs> hard. Be awesome. So I thought we could take you guys along. What type of tilly? I, not so much the taco. I want the sauce. There's the tacos sauce. are good too. The tacos are really good. Hi. Why'd you focus in on my muscle? You looked washed out. All right, so you look washed we're out. gonna get the workout started, and then we will see y'all very shortly. Happy birthday! Hi. Happy birthday! Hi! Hi, Agent. Happy birthday! Whose birthday, birthday is it? What are you? Are you four? You're four. Four? I'm gonna be seven. No. Seven. That's that's practically a grown up. Oh. Oh my gosh.
you hear him scream? Did he find it? The barn that creeper! What is it? Go take it back to the Can you blink? 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 Oh my gosh. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of quickly go over uh, everything that we did for the freeze. Uh, obviously we had another freeze here in Texas. Uh, these cold fronts keep rolling in. And so uh, we're getting a lot more confident, I guess, with everything that we do. Uh, so we don't actually unhook the water or anything like that. Of course, even when we did unhook the water, we actually didn't blow the lines. And so I don't really see what, what that did. So uh, it's basically just protecting the water source at that time. But now we just uh, basically, I, I go outside and I drip the faucets, which I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, but a big thing is actually right up here. So uh, one thing is we have our tank heaters and our tank heaters will actually keep uh, the, like they're basically like heating pads for your tanks. They just kind of slap onto the bottom of them. Uh, you do have to give them, I guess, installed, but uh, they take care of your, you know, your gray, your black, and I think your fresh, uh, if you don't use the city water. So it would be the fresh water tank. Um, but we don't ever use that one. That one's completely dry, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then uh, basically from there, we just try to heat the cabin as much as possible. Uh, but the thing is, we, we're we not big on propane. We just we just don't get it. Um, obviously, if we did, it would be, it'd be nicer. But what we do is actually right behind me, this, uh, was it New Air? Mm -hmm. Yeah, New Air um, heater. And so that thing actually heats the thing really nice. It takes about 30 minutes to heat up, but... Keeps it super Once it's toasty. there, you can actually throw a, throw a thing on eco, and it cycles between low and high depending on uh, what temperature it is. And so uh, keeps everything really nice, uh, nice and warm. Uh, the boys are fine. Of course, they still jump in the bed every once in a while. Oh, he's in his little crate. But then uh, another thing that you can do, uh, we haven't actually done it for this freeze, but you can open up the, um, I guess, the cabinets uh, that lead to some of the tanks down there. Uh, but those tanks down there, um, the ones that are underneath the sink in the bathroom, that's really the hot water heater, <laughs> you know, that, that tank. And so it really doesn't need to be, you know, like it's already insulated, so that one should be fine. Uh, but some people were telling us to do that, open up the cabinets. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll just show you kind of where we drip from, uh, but pretty much as long as you have water flowing through kind of nice, then you're fine. So basically just uh, pay attention to the weather. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. about it. And we actually realized that that first time, and I know a lot of you guys that have been through some freezes, um, we realize it's really not that huge of a deal. Um, and it doesn't stay super, super cold here. Now, if you're in a place where it's, you know, under 20 or 10 consistently, it you have to take a lot more precautions, but I think we did just fine. So, uh, I got a kayak for Christmas, but this actually came in handy because uh, the wind's coming from the north, which is actually this direction exactly. Uh, yeah, that, that's the north. <laughs> and so uh, basically this blocks the wind. Uh, it keeps the possibility of freezing at a lower uh, percentage too as well. So uh, the tanks are right behind this, and so it just keeps that wind from going underneath it. We got a leak. <laughs> so yep. uh, basically I just turned the, uh, the cold on and so I just don't want to turn the heat on just because it's actually pulling from the hot water heater and just making that work more so yeah have a drip so we're hoping that this is 
the last big freeze, um, I just don't, I, I'm just over this weather. But, you know, I think that it's once you go through, just like with the trailer itself, once you go through the process one or two times, um, and I think of like hooking up the trailer, because I used to think that that was an overwhelming process, but now that we've done it a couple times, it's just, you have your little mental checklist and you just turn on the tank heater, like do the various things and you should be okay. It's not a guarantee, but yeah, it's uh, more than likely you should be fine. A lot of these uh, trailers are meant to be pulled into snowy, cold areas, and so uh, most of the time it's fine. They're uh, pretty close to the actual cabin, so they stay warm just by association, you know. And then you, if you also have the tank heaters, which I suggest having the tank heaters, uh, it just adds that extra little uh, nice bit of heat underneath the belly of that ta that tank. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's most pretty much what you need. And just uh, try to block the wind. Maybe have a tarp or something. Uh, when you're traveling, you don't always have a kayak at, at your disposal, you know? <laughs> so, uh, before I had the kayak, we just threw a bunch of tarps up around it. And, um, and even blocked some of the cold, like, the wet part of, the, like, the, the storms that we've been having. And so that's been nice, uh, because we've had, actually, even with this last one, we had a kind of icy sleep rain thing. Uh, it wasn't as bad here as it was near us in Austin, but it's still, it's just, I'm just, I'm, like Blair, I'm tired of this weather. <laughs> mm -hmm. And what's even crazier is that it was supposed to get up to about 70 on Saturday. It didn't quite get that warm, but the fact that the forecast had 70 degrees that day and then later that night it was freezing is so strange. It's just such a wide range. Um, in Texas. And I mean, at least where we are, I'm sure that there are other areas that have that. But, you know, you wake up in the morning, you've got the heater on, and then by the afternoon you need the AC on full blast. So it's just strange. I'm ready for some warmth and I want to break in your kayak and I want to be able to use my air chair that I got for Christmas, which I don't even think I showed you guys. It's one of those things that you like open and run and you blow it up and then you sit in it. It's awesome. So yeah, I think. And I also want to clean the, uh, like we have a, a garage like that we're going to turn into a workshop. And so uh, that's going to be happening this summer as well. So mm -hmm. A lot of things to come in the in the warmth. We need warmth. <laughs> or just not freezing. Yeah, I need above 60 degrees. Yeah. For a lot of stuff. I'm I don't do. mind getting sweaty. I think that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it. And thank you guys for uh, those of you that have been buying the shirts. I really, really appreciate it. And I can't wait to get mine. So um, that link is in the description in case you're interested in the t-shirt that I designed. I think that's it. Well, have fun out there. <laughs> Bye guys.